In this video, we're going to install Complete 13, and the installation will be exactly the same for Standard Complete 13 all the way through Complete 13 Ultimate Collector's Edition. Now, there are two ways you can purchase Complete. There's the download version and the boxed version, which includes a hard drive. But you must understand the included hard drive is only for installation purposes. That means you cannot run the plugins, virtual instruments, or sample libraries from this drive. You still have to install the content onto another drive. Now, in the past, Complete was supplied on several DVDs that you had to install one at a time, and this took literally several hours. But now the installers are included on a single hard drive instead, which makes the process automated and much, much faster. First, we'll pop open the box. There's the hard drive. And your serial number is on this card. Below that is an included USB 3 cable, plus a USB-C adapter in case you need it. And that's it. Grab the card with your serial number on it, flip it over, and head to the site. Native Access is how you will install and authorize all Native Instruments content. So be sure to download and install it. If you have the boxed version, the Native Access installer is included on the hard drive, but it's still better in my opinion to download the latest version from the website because the version that is on the hard drive will have to be updated anyway. If you already have a Native Access installed, just open it and it will update to the latest version automatically. After you get everything installed, you'll want to launch some of the apps in standalone before using them in your DAW. Let's get on with the installation. Go ahead and connect the hard drive to your computer. And if we pop into it, all you see is the native access installer and a readme. If you want to see the actual installers and content, you'll have to show hidden items. And here in data, you can see all of the ISO files. Think of these as digital DVDs or disk images. And how this works is Native Access is going to automatically load, install, and unload each of these disk images for us. That way we don't have to physically load and unload a stack of DVDs like we used to. Go ahead and launch Native Access. And since I already had it installed, it will update automatically. Log in or create an account if you don't have one. And because we already have the drive connected, you'll be prompted to enter your serial number. If this does not pop up automatically, ensure that your hard drive is connected and then just click Add Serial. Enter the serial number located on the included card and add the serial. Awesome, and you're pretty much ready to install. Now, because I am installing an update version, you may have many more things to install than I do. As you can see under installed products, I already have all of these installed, so there's no reason to reinstall them. Head back to not installed. And before we continue, you need to be aware of some options. Go to the user icon and click preferences. Here, you can change the download location. And even if you have the hard drive version, some things still have to be downloaded. Then you have the application location, which by default is your OS drive. And this should be left alone in most cases. The applications are things like Contact, Reactor, FM8, Guitar Rig, etc. And it's only the app, which is usually pretty small in size and not the content or sample libraries that run within the apps. Here, you can change the content location, and the content would be things like Damage, Abbey Road Drummer, Symphony Series, etc. And these are usually very large files. We're talking over one terabyte for the Ultimate Collector's Edition. So it's suggested to install the content to a secondary non-OS drive. It says external hard drive here, and it really shouldn't say that. It should just say secondary non-OS drive, which just means not your C drive if you're on Windows, for example. And it does not have to be an external drive. You can also use an internal drive. I also suggest that you install to an SSD drive or M2 drive for much better performance. If you want to see the difference in performance between a hard drive and SSD, check out the video in the description below. So I'll install the content to an internal SSD. Then you can choose the location for the VST2 files. Don't worry about VST3 or AAX. Those will always go to the hard-coded location. 
Now I like to leave mine on the default, but you can change this to other common locations like program files, VST plugins, or program files, Steinberg VST plugins, or whatever you personally use. Just make sure that the VST2 path is added in your VST compatible DAW. So if you leave it to the default, make sure you add that path in your DAW. Otherwise, you won't see your native instruments VST2 plugins. Go to settings to enable or disable tracking. Save. And now we're ready to install. You can install each of these or just the ones you want by clicking install or just click install all. Now, if this happens to you, don't worry. It's just letting me know that I don't have enough space on my C drive to download and unzip the files it needs to download. So I'll head back to preferences and change the download location to a drive with more space. And the files that are downloaded will be deleted automatically after install. All right. I'll choose to install all and native access will install everything for me. And all you have to do is wait. Now this can take a few hours. It may be one hour. It may be three hours. It may be five hours. So walk away and go do something else for a while. You may notice some things downloading, and this is because even with the hard drive version, they didn't include all of the installers on the hard drive. So even if you have the hard drive version, be prepared to download at least 100 gigs. If you take a look at the file system, you can see how native access installs everything automatically. You can see the loaded disk image here, and after it's installed, Native Access will eject it and load another one. It's actually a really well thought out system for installation, activation, and even installing updates. And that's it. We are done. Head over to installed products to see all of your products. If you ever have any updates for your products, just go to available updates and install. It's all handled here in Native Access. So that's it, we're installed and activated, but before I go, I'm going to change my download location back to my downloads folder. And we are done with native access. Go ahead and unplug the hard drive and store this in a safe location in case you need to install it on another system. Remember to open these apps in standalone before you launch them within your DAW. Now you're all done and you can access all of your instruments and effects from within your DAW. Also, for those of you who are brand new to complete, you need to understand that many of the products run within contact or reactor. So if you want to use action strikes, for example, first open contact, then load action strikes. If you want to use rounds, first open reactor, then load rounds. You'll also have a lot of expansions that run within various apps, and you can also drag the loops directly into your DAW. And that's it. You're all set up and ready to use Complete 13.